Hey y'all, welcome to my kitchen. Uh, the last few videos I've done have been all about air frying. And I'm gonna be sharing some more air frying recipes with y'all because you know what? When summer gets here, it is so hot. What are they saying the, uh, the heat index is out there? Like 115, 118. Uh, and I worry about our little children outside playing in this heat uh, because children, their bodies three to five times, their temp moves up faster than like an adult. So uh, y'all be careful. And the last thing I, oops, the last thing I wanna do y'all is cut on that big old jet Carolina over there and heat up this kitchen. Well, when I use my air fryer, I don't have to worry about the heat. I don't have to worry about all the electricity it's pulling. Uh, so during the summer, especially, especially I love taking advantage of this because there's so many pluses about it. And more and more people are turning to the air fryers. And I'll just tell you right now, if you wanna check my particular brand out, uh, you can go to Amazon, it's Paula Dean Shop Amazon and you can get the details should you be interested. Uh, personally, I couldn't do it without mine. I use mine. I have two sitting side by side and sometimes I got them both going. But, you know, it's not hot in my kitchen and I love that, y'all. So, uh, with summertime, we also get wonderful, wonderful tomatoes. So I'm gonna share with y'all A wonderful broiled, it's called broiled tomato. And it too is uh, in my air fryer cookbook. And of course, this doesn't have a broiler on it, but because of the intensity of the air blowing on it, it appears to broil too, because things get brown. So I'm gonna start by cutting this tomato in exactly half. And look at that beautiful tomato, y'all. That is one pretty tomato. And you know, I've gotten where, y'all, all I wanna use is heirloom tomatoes. I love heirlooms. They've just got a flavor like that's so intense. And uh, is this, this is just a green a tomato. Green. That's not an heirloom, is it? In fact, I've got to go to the store. Apparently, where this was our last heirloom but they are so good, y'all. All right, so to start this recipe, I'm gonna use uh, a half of a sleeve of a buttery cracker. I've got blue cheese crumbles. Let's see, uh, one ounce. Won't this come up on, will this show up? Will this recipe turn up for them? Oh yeah. Okay, good, so y'all have this recipe. And uh, four slices of cooked bacon crumbled. Uh, spring onion, green onion. I think some people might even call them scallions. But to us down here, they're, we just call them uh, green onions. All right, and let's see, how much butter is that? A tablespoon of butter, melted. And we're just gonna stir all this together. And if your husband's cooking a steak on the grill, this would be wonderful. A wonderful side for it. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna melt some more butter because that's not sticking enough for it to even hold the crumbs together. That's why I put the butter. Yes. Yes. So I'm gonna pop some more um, because we want it to be able to stick together. So that won't take but a second. But according to the recipe, you know, I work on so many things and I have, I have wonderful help that helps me come up with recipes and test and all that. So uh, I've noticed sometimes I do have to come in and, you know, change things around just a little bit. But when I come up on that, I try to tell y'all you know what my thoughts are. 
Okie dokie. So that's probably another, that would probably be another heaping tablespoon maybe. <laughs> okay, we may need some more, we may not. But I think that that's gonna get it. Now it's sticking together as it should. Okay. Now the recipe does not call for you to scoop any of the tomato out. But because I want to get a good bit of this filling in there, I'm going to scoop some out. I'm going to just try to do this with my small little scooper. I may have to bring in the old knife. Like I said, I'm just scooping out just a little bit, y'all. So give me more room for all our, all our good stuff like that bacon and. <laughs> <laughs> like that bacon and them breadcrumbs. <laughs> okay. So before we put this in the oven, we want to salt and pepper it. And then I'm gonna just, oops, reach in here and scoop some of this up and put it right on top of that tomato. I almost wish I'd have dug out a little bit more, y'all. Okay, so we're going to put this in our air fryer, and we are going to bake it on 350 for, I think, 10 minutes. I what think it's it? actually 400. No, I think it's... it's 350? I think. Let me see. I got to put on my glasses. <laughs> I might be thinking of the chicken. Three hundred and fifty degrees for ten minutes, y'all. Mm. Okay. So this is gonna be delicious. And I'll see y'all back in ten minutes. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> Looks good. It just dinged. <laughs> so it's been 10 minutes, y'all. And I wanna show you this beautiful side dish that is really on the healthy side. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and I, you know, I tell you what, I am very guilty of not using recipes. And so it's hard for me to, um, sometimes formulate a recipe because even my own recipes that I formulated, I play with them. You know, I tell y'all to use the recipe the first time, go right by it says, and then the next time, dang gum it, make it your own. Uh, because you know what I'd have put in this now that I'm opening it and looking at it? I would have put a little mayonnaise. I thought you were going to say goat cheese. Goat cheese. Uh -huh. No, I wasn't going to say goat cheese. <laughs> <laughs> There's very little things that so make me. To anything is mayonnaise. Huh? Haven't you noticed that? That's been answer to mayonnaise mayonnaise so. would have been, been made a wonderful binder rather than and you know more melted butter to it. I was thinking diet. No, I'm what I'm lying. <laughs> I can't get away with that one. But anyway, that would have given you the taste of a BLT. You know, you got your bacon, you got your tomato, and you got your mayonnaise on your bread, kind of like. <laughs> So that's just a thought, but um, I hope you like this recipe as much as we do because it's just perfect for a summer meal. Put that on a nice salad and that could be your whole entire meal, right? <laughs> right, y'all? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> 
Oh, you think that was sincere, y'all? <laughs> you think those yeses were sincere? <laughs> Hey, well, thank y'all very much. I hope that y'all enjoying the videos using my air fryer because I'm certainly enjoying sharing them with y'all. I love you and I'm sending you, along with that love, wishes for best dishes. Bye-bye. <laughs>